A mixture of happy memories, advice, and anecdotes about the bride are what come of Stanley Bayole when he talks about his first child, the Inebantu Jovia Mutesi. The royal wedding, which will take place on 18th November, coincides with Bayole's 49th birthday. I don't know why the king chose to make it on my birthday, but I think it's an appreciation, appreciating the dad, I think. The Inebantu hails from the Baise Mugosa clan, whose totem is a white egret. Although a father's love is measured in the happiness and success of his children, Bayole does not count the number of children he has. In our culture, we can't mention the number of children and the names because we'll be dividing. There are those that we inherit, there are those that we bring up in the family. So if you start to mention, you'll be discriminating. But one of them, she's the queen of Busoga and she's my firstborn. He says the choice of his daughter as the bride of the Chawazinga did not come as a surprise to him. She's a peace-loving person. She wouldn't allow people to quarrel and the siblings. She would love everybody to be happy, everybody to eat, and to encourage others to study. And she's still studying, actually. She has, she's still, but I'm not a spokesperson of uh, the kingdom now. See, she's now a property an asset to the kingdom. They are procedures. Like any parent, Bayole had aspirations for his daughter when she was growing up. He wanted her to follow a path in the medical profession. Personally, I wanted uh, the Queen Mother to become a doctor. And uh, there there was... We were not agree for her, she, she wanted to be accountant. Even me, I thought of becoming a doctor. But I think science filed on my, my side. I would have been a doctor, but still I'm a doctor of hearts. He admits that he came to know the Chabazinga in an official capacity when he was an LC3 chairperson of Mayuge Town Council. However, he says he was pleasantly surprised when his sister, Florence Babirie, told him that his daughter had been chosen to be queen. You see now the question you are firing me, I'm smiling. It was the same smile that I had and I was anxious to see her, the auntie, telling me who is the person because I had prepared, we had prepared our daughter for such people. Somebody responsible with the value, with the integrity to take your daughter. And indeed, it came to pass by the grace of God. Now the siblings will have to copy up that when you study, when you grow in church, respect and fear God. When you are disciplined, the future is bright. And I'm hearing these days, people are saying that uh, now Soga women are very expensive. You don't go easily there. It's true. It is really very good. Prior to an introduction ceremony, the bride's family usually informs the groom's family on what to bring as bride price. However, at the Inebantu's introduction ceremony, this norm was not honored. That one cannot be even to be talked about. In Inebantu, the Chabazinga is the victim of, 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 of culture. You cannot start to say that now we want 1,000 cows. You may be asking less. The king just appreciates. So whatever he brings, it's enough. And I want to assure you, he brought enough. And I'm contented. We are contented as a family, as a clan. We are happy with what the king brought. The proud father advises other parents to bring up their children in their cultures and teach them to be God-fearing. Can we bring our children in an environment that they don't really grow ego when they are still young? I decide when I sleep, when I want to move, what to talk. Can we tell our children to be so listenful than being argumentative? Because you find most of the children 
after knowing something small, he argues more than you, the parent who has been there for some time. A girl of senior two wants a WhatsApp phone of one million. For what really, sincerely, you a parent? Why should you allow your girl of senior one to have a WhatsApp phone? To see what? My event to hold the phone that was her senior six back. Because yes, Namagunga does not allow that, you know very well. Those who took children to Namagunga. And she was there from senior and senior six. Bayole works with the president's office as the resident district commissioner of Bulambuli district. He is also the LC1 chairperson of St. Mulumba village in Mayuge town council, Mayuge district, a position he has held for nearly 30 years. At some point, Bayole was the LC3 chairperson of Mayuge town council. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.